The backyard is usually buzzing with soft sounds of the animals who live here. But Tuesday. My husband opened the main door up there to look out and he saw the alpaca laying there. And he's like, oh, um, Sparky's not moving. Sparky, one of Morgazada Gornirvich Porchi's three alpacas. I went after him five minutes later and I'm asking him, um, is she dead? And he's like, all of them are. Just a few streets away. I had nine, they're all dead, they killed them all. Ray Engelke found his nine alpacas dead in the barn last week. Two dogs standing over them. They're barking at me, but I want evidence, so I took their picture and the contractor's yelling me to run because he's afraid they're going to kill me. So I took the pictures and got out of there and called the sheriff. The Elbert County Undersheriff says these are the two dogs killing farm animals, large and small, throughout the neighborhood. Nobody knows who they belong to or why they are so aggressive. But the Undersheriff says deputies are now on alert, asking families to keep pets and small kids inside at night. Why didn't I know that? If I would know that nine alpacas were dead, last Thursday by uh, wild dogs, mm -hmm. my alpacas would be like inside the barn right now, closed up mm -hmm. until the dogs would be caught. Word is spreading quickly now and a sheriff's vehicle patrolled the area Tuesday. Uh, I'm just scared for the kids walking home. Um, this is very dangerous. The backyards are still quiet, but now the neighborhood has more watchful eyes. The sheriff's office says they recognize that somebody might choose to shoot these dogs if they're actively attacking their animals, and they understand that. They just asked people to be careful so this doesn't lead to anything irresponsible. Mostly, though, the sheriff's office hopes anybody that needs to report to them a sighting of these dogs or call 911 if they're attacking. Reporting in Elbert County, Jennifer Meckles, 9 News.